What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. It's a YouTube hoodie weight champion of the world. We got Q&A 93, and we got WrestleMania picks. Ooh. It's WrestleMania already. I can't believe, number one, I can't believe how many people are not going to be at WrestleMania because they're hurt. And I can't believe what they're just kind of passing off as matches. I mean, I guess that's all they have left. Oh, by the way, who saw NXT Friday night? Holy shit, right? That's all I'm going to say about that. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Jake Gilbert wants to know why does Grim always hit you with stuff? I dare you to hit him back. Jake, I it's it's something we do. Uh, you know, it's part of the show. And I hit I did uh, hit him back once. I, and act, No, actually, I told him to stop. And it turned into we had a match for the show, uh, Grimm's Toy Show. I won. I took over Grimm's Toy Show. And in the rematch about two weeks later, he won it back and I started my own show. And that was like over two years ago. Yes, sir. Patrick Bruckness wants to know, do you like baseball or wrestling? I like both. Uh, who's your favorite wrestler? You know, I've stuck with Roman Reigns since he came up. And I, I hate to just, you know, give up on him because people boo him. People boo John Cena. I like John Cena. So I'm sticking with Roman Reigns. I've stuck with Roman Reigns through the thick and thin. Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns. Everybody asks. Everybody asks every week, who do I like? If everybody watched my videos, you'd know who I like. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Roman Reigns. Um, All-time wrestler is uh, favorite is uh, Bret Hart. Uh, and would you ever wrestle Grimm? Guess what? I wrestled Grimm <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> Good Christ! Will Mitchell wants to know who's my favorite Yankees. Um... Derek Jeter was was great. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of Hall of Famers like Lou Gehrig, Rock, Mickey Mantle, Babe Ruth, um, Joe DiMaggio. You know, all the great guys. They're great, but I didn't grow up on them. So my my favorite guys are like, you know, Derek Jeter, Jorge Posada, Andy Pettit, Mariano Rivera. Paul O'Neill is like the guy I go to. Like when you ask who's my favorite Yankee, Paul, because I played the outfield and Paul O'Neill played with this level of intensity that was just like... Damn it, I'm playing baseball. You know, and I was just like, that. Now nah, that is a player. And he's pretty good on commentary. He, you know, he does the Yes Network uh, commentary team. He's pretty awesome. Victoria Chase wants to know if I still watch Family Guy. Of, of course I do. And has Feisty Pants met the Grimettes? Yes, he has. <laughs> Listen. Me and Grim and Doo-Hop, the Ninja Twins, the Taxo, we're friends. We're friends. We're all friends. So Feisty Pants is friends with the Grimettes. You know, I mean, that's that's just how it is. I, I don't know where these questions come from. Yes, yes. They play together, like, all the time. Birthday parties, pool parties, all, all of it. All of the above. Maxine Caulfield wants to know do, if do I think Renee Young is Mae Young's daughter. You know, you had a possibility here, but no, I looked it up. They're not related at all. Who do you think is going to win the Divas belt? We're going to get to that later. Chloe Bryce wants to know, do you think Sasha or Becky might look good with the belt? I think both of them would look good with the belt. K uh, Kate Marsh wants to know, will Family Guy ever have a crossover with American Dad? Uh, Kate, they already did. It's called Star Wars. Family Guy Star Wars. They did uh, A New Hope, they did Empire Strikes Back, and they did Return of the Jedi. Brenda! Brenda wants to know what's my favorite basketball player, uh, Michael Jordan. And when he retired, like 100 years ago, I haven't really watched basketball since. Uh, and she wants to know if I play video games. Yes, yes I do. Uh, Anthony says, what's your favorite job? What was your favorite job? Uh, what was your first car? And do you have a Wii? We do have a Wii. My first car was a... Um, it was a 1980 Toyota Corolla. It was uh, it was unsightly. And my my favorite job I've had over the years. I ran a music store. Uh, it was just the greatest thing. Uh, you could walk in, CDs everywhere, videos. Not not instruments like music CDs that you you know that you go get on iTunes and stuff. Back in the day, before there was iTunes, you had to go to a store. Um, Check out FYE. If, if you guys have an, uh, like a mall nearby, there's an FYE in the mall. That's the kind of place we, you know, I ran only much larger, like on the scale of a Toys R Us size store. So imagine like Toys R Us, but instead of toys, it's music everywhere. CDs, singles, cassette tapes. Um, it was, I don't know. It, we were the first to carry DVDs when DVDs first came around. We had video rentals. We had books. 
we were we were talking about putting in a coffee bar, <laughs> like you know, kind of like how Starbucks has right now. That we were talking about doing that back in the day. Um, if you guys have ever seen the movie Empire Records, uh, it's a very small store that they that they run in the movie, but it's kind of along the lines of that. There's another movie too called High Fidelity. Uh, you want to check that one out too. It reminds me of my music store. We had we had vinyl. It was it was a great great time. Fifty six classic rock ambassador wants to know what's my least favorite WWE match that I've seen live and on TV. Well, TV there's a lot, but live live narrows it down. And um, I I don't know what was awful. Uh, I mean there there were some great ones like the last one I I the last live event I went to was uh, SummerSlam and uh, Brooklyn NXT in Brooklyn uh, this past uh, 2015 SummerSlam. And, um, I mean, there were some crap-ass matches on SummerSlam, but, I mean, NXT was just hands-down great that, that weekend. Uh, Sasha, Sasha Banks and Bayley uh, wrestled for the title, and Bayley defended it. And, uh, I mean, that was, that was by far the best match of the whole night and the whole weekend. Nothing on SummerSlam beat that match. Hell no. David Griffin wants to know, uh, how cool would it be if you and Feisty Pants were to go to WrestleMania, and do I consider that? You know, Jesse, Jesse said that a couple weeks ago in the, in a Q and A, uh, if I was con uh, contemplating going to WrestleMania 33 back in Orlando, and she was going to say, you know, these are the hot spots and show me like where to, you know, like, uh, hotels and whatnot and all that junk. And I'm actually considering it. It's, it's a possibility. I might go to WrestleMania 33 with feisty pants. It could happen. Cause then I can knock out WrestleMania. I can knock out a trip to Disney all in the same weekend. Win, win, right? That's what I'm saying. Um, you know what I do have to do? It's going to be in the middle of school, you know? So, granted, WrestleMania is on a Sunday. I just have to work out his school week that week and make, make sure we get all his homework taken care of. Um, my favorite matches, my favorite matches, I'm sorry, featuring The Undertaker. I was never a big fan of The Undertaker. I'm still not a big fan of The Undertaker. And when Brock Lesnar beat the streak, that was probably my favorite match at WrestleMania when Brock beat him. And he became defeated. Uh, favorite matches featuring Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, Stone Cold, I'm a huge fan of Stone Cold. Uh, every match of his is a highlight reel. I can't I can't pick one. Your thoughts on Miz, Luke Harper, and Alberto Del Rio being hurt? Uh, I, I don't know how true that... Well, Luke Harper broke his knee. I mean, that sucks. But The Miz and Alberto Del Rio are fine. They wrestled on Raw. They'll be there on, um, they'll be there on WrestleMania tonight. Uh, what is mine and Feisty Pants' outfit of the day for Mania? You know, I, I don't know, man. I don't pick out, I don't pick out outfits like this. Is what am I going to wear at WrestleMania? I mean, if we were going to WrestleMania, maybe. But I'm just going to, you know, the guy's house and I'm watching, you know, with the guys and we're just going to sit in the living room, put our feet up, eat some chips, eat some cookies, order some pizza. You know, I was trying to do a Stone Cold thing. Everybody was supposed to say what in between all of those. But no, I'm not. I'm probably just going to wear a t-shirt and jeans. I'm not not going all out of my way to dress up just to go to the guy's house. Um, <laughs> what is my mo what is my memorable moment you and Feisty Pants will never forget? Ever? <laughs> Ever? I mean, we have a lot of moments. Um, most emotional Hall of Fame speeches. I don't watch the Hall of Fame. But when Daniel Bryan announced his retirement a couple of weeks ago, that you know that was that was a little moving. Uh, do you think uh, do you think the WWE should cancel the Andre the Giant match due to many many injuries? No, never cancel your brand. If you're if you're putting on a show and you advertise that Andre the Giant match is going to be on WrestleMania, you better damn well have an Andre the Giant WrestleMania match. That's what I'm saying. Um, if Mick Foley were to come to your house. For WrestleMania, how would you react and what would you say? I'd say, holy shit, it's Mick Foley. I'd call up all the guys. I'd be like, hey, Mick Foley's at the house. Bring more food. And then we would put on WrestleMania and watch it and enjoy. Um, are you and Feisty Pants ready for WrestleMania? Yes. And bonus, what does Mania mean to you? It's just another thing for us to do together. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a rat's ass who wins or loses. I like hanging out. Uh, Joe's channel wants to know, how did you and Grim first meet? It was a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. That's the Star Wars theme. Um, 
Joe, we were young. We were kids. I don't even remember how it happened. It's just, uh, you know, I knew somebody. He knew somebody. We knew each other. And that's the bottom line. <laughs> Dane, Dane Gillhausen wants to know what's my favorite series of Pokemon. Uh, anything with Pikachu in it, I guess. Uh, that Char We got a Charizard box. Uh, Feisty Pants went to karate graduation yesterday. And we got a Charizard box. You know, big, big Red Generations one. It was like 30 bucks. He got some serious shit out of that. <laughs> That was a pretty good series. Any Anytime I spend money and it gets good cards and it's money well spent, that's my favorite series. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's out of control. Sir Daniel wants to know, am I a made MLB TV subscriber? If so, are there any teams that I look out for, watch, or follow besides the Yankees? Or does it just depend on what the better matches are on that day? Uh, believe it or not, Daniel, um... I have Comcast in my area. They are the worst cable provider ever in the United States. They're ranked dead last in two categories the last two years out of like 150 different cable providers in the United States. Um, they carried what's called the Yes Network. That's the Yankees' personal station. Uh, everything the Yankees do uh, is on there. The games, spring training, all the private shows. Not the private shows, like, but the extra shows like um, pregame, batting practice, postgame. Uh, they have center stage, the Michael K broadcast. Um, a number, I'm, I'm forgetting, uh, Yankeeographies. You know, it's the Yankee channel. There's even soccer on the Yankee channel, right? So they carried, uh, they carried the Yes Network all through 2015. After baseball season, like, ended in November, you know, I mean, there's still the hot stove. There's all the trades and stuff like that we track. In the middle of the night, they dropped the Yes Network. I was actually watching, um, I was actually watching something that night, the night it happened. I was watching, shit, what was I watching? I don't remember what I was, but it, all of a sudden, the TV cuts out, and I'm like, oh, freaking Comcast again, right? So I'm playing with the remote. Every other channel comes in. I restart my box, and I go back to the Yes Network. The channel's no longer there. Like, what the hell? So what happens is they're in a big dispute. Comcast says that Yes Network does not make enough ratings to pay for what they're asking. However, they do pay other stations more money that per that um, perform less results. So where's the logic in that, right? Now, um, unfortunately, there's nobody else really in my area that's worthwhile to switch to. Uh, Fios is in Tom's River, but they're not in my town. Uh, the Dish, the Dish kind of sucks. They offer, uh, is it the Dish or it's one of those? One of those, maybe it's DirecTV. They don't, for like, for carrying the Yes Network, that would be all I'd be watching from them. Everything else they do is suck. Their, their internet sucks. Everything else sucks. So I'm kind of stuck until Comcast and Yes Network makes a deal. And I'm kind of hoping they get it together because guess what? Today is also opening day, right? Friggin' great. Um, but I do, I do pay attention to other teams. I do pay attention to other players and I kind of follow along the season. It's not just the Yankees. I'm a baseball fan. So anything that goes on, I try to, I try to pay attention to. Now, don't forget, this is the most important part of the, of the episode right here. Here's the show. You can find me on my, at my pal Alex on the Twitter and on YouTube. I put at my pal Alex in all my YouTube video titles. Uh, Sunday, we do Q&A and pay-per-view predictions like we do today. You'll see a reactions video later on tonight. Monday, we do toy hauls and toy hunts. Tuesday, we do baseball cards. Uh, sometimes we do baseball talk. It depends what's going on. But it's always something baseball. Wednesday, Feist Pants plays Minecraft. Uh, Friday is the ever-popular Fan Mail Friday. And Thursday and Saturday, we leave it open for everything else that we do. Um, Lego, action figure reviews, EverQuest, all sorts of fun stuff. Fan mail, uh, the address is uh, Alex's Toy Show, P.O. Box 13, Bayville, New Jersey, 08721. If you have something you want to send for me uh, to open on video, and if it's something I can do in its own video, separate from fan mail, I'll even give it its own video. Uh, amino Groups, you can find me all over the place on my, my pal Alex. Uh, Instagram, I am my pal Alex underscore photos. And uh, every once in a while, when I get time to play some EverQuest on Twitch, I stream it. Uh, you can find me at my pal Alex right there. That is all for the Q&A. We are now going to switch to the uh, pre-show, not the pre-show, the WrestleMania picks. Stand by for that.